We know that a relation is a set of ordered pairs that satisfy a relationship. This was the Cartesian product of sets P and Q we'd seen previously. And this is set R dash. There's a relation here. The second number here is a multiple of the first in each case. Now let's talk about the terms image, range, domain and codomain. We know that the set R dash has three ordered pairs, 2, 10, 2, 20 and 4, 20. Here we can say that 10 is an image of 2, 20 is an image of 2 and 20 is an image of 4. We can say that every Q in set R dash is an image of its P. The set of P of all ordered pairs P, Q in set R dash is called the domain. Or we can say that the set of the first elements of all the ordered pairs in set R dash is called the domain. So we can say that the domain contains the elements 2 and 4. Now it would be very easy to guess what range means. The set of Q of all ordered pairs P, Q in set R dash is called the range. Or we can say that the second elements of all the ordered pairs in the relation R is called the range. The range contains the elements 10 and 20. So all the first elements form the domain and all the second elements form the range. What is the codomain here? The whole set Q is called the codomain of relation R. So the codomain here will contain the elements 10, 20 and 35. Easy, wasn't it? Now I want you to look at the range and the codomain and find a relation between them. What can we say? We could say that the range is a subset of the codomain. Here is an arrow diagram to learn what is domain, range and codomain. So, this is the domain, this is the range and this is the codomain for our relation R.